Alef. 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 Okay. Without seeing them, yeah. It's Aleph, Beit, okay. Himel, Dalet, Hey, Vav, Sayin, uh, what is that one? <laughs> Chet, 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 Yud, Kav, Kav, Lamet, Mem, Nun, Samek, Ayn, Pei, Fei, Sadi O Uresh Shin and then Tef Tap or Sin. Yeah, no, it's Sin and, and then Tap. Yeah. Tap. Tap. Yeah. Fine. Jolly. Okay. Who confusing. Else? <laughs> it's not confusing. Yay, Prav Moses. Very well. Okay. Right. Who wants to start now? Who's that? Marius. Okay, Marius. Come. Come. Let's <laughs> Right. Marius. Hui. <laughs> Right, oh. start. Hey, start. Must I start again? Carry on. I think your signal's lagging a bit. Zayin, Chet, Chet. Possible. Uh, where are we now? Are we but Chet? <laughs> Okay, okay. Of is cough, cough, yeah. then Dance it, then it's cough. Okay, then it's cough. Carry on from cough, up. Cough. Right. Lamet. Mm -hmm. Mem, Nun, 
sa mère. Mm -hmm. Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, what's that one? Ayin. Ayin. After summer, yeah. it's ayin. Summer, ayin. Okay. All right, carry on. What's after ayin? With a dot in, that's the hard one. That's the... Come on, Marius, you know it. Come on. Pay. I think your signal, man. I think your signal's bad. Oh, dear. Sorry. Okay. Pay. Uh. Oh, dear. Has our signal gone? Okay. All right. Who I else? I don't think he's in the lobby. I, if I look here, I don't think he's in the lobby. Okay, all right. Who else would like to recite? I can, I can give it a go. Who's that? Josh. Josh. Hi, Josh. Okay, come. Let's go. Ah, let's do this. <clears throat> Aleph, Bet, Vet, Gimel, Dalet, Hey, Vav, Zion, Chet, Chet, Yud, Kaf. Half, Lamed, Mem, Nun, Samech, Ayan, Pei, Fei, Tadi, Kuf, Resh, Shin, Sin, Tav. Jolly nice, jolly nice, jolly nice. Thank you. Anybody else? Vince, what about you? Hmm? I'm the first one. I'm the one who started first. Are you the one that started first? Sorry, my darling. Sorry, he started first. Yes. Uh, who's going to now? I'll do Sharon. Okay. All right. Aleph, Bet, Bet, Gimel, Dalit, Hey, um, Lamed, Mm -hmm. What's this one? Oh, uh, that's Samech. Samech, yeah, Samech. Samech. Iron, yeah. Iron. Pay. Pay. Uh, Sadi. Kof. Rish. Shun. Shun. Tuff. I say. Nice. And okay, who else would like to go again? Oh, Hello, Tony. Hello, Barbie. Yay. Ashley. Okay. Aleph. Aleph. Bet. Bet. Gummo. Dalit. Hey. Vav, um, what's that one? Zion, 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 Tet, Yud, Shamit, Ayan, Pain, Nene, Nene, Pain. Go back to 
Yud. Right. 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 Nun right samikh iron right a say the praying one the praying one Tadi. Kuf. 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 Resh. Sin. Sin. Help. Good. Any else? Who stays still? Marius is back, Tani. Huh? Marius is back. I had to relocate. My signal was bad. Okay. So, we, do you want to start at the beginning again, Marius? Yes, I'll start at the beginning, Tony. Okay, Marius, go. Aleph, Bet, Vet, Gimel, Dalet, Hey, Faf, Zayin, Chet, Ted, Yod, Kaf, Chaf, Lamet, Mem, Nun, Samech, Ayin, Pei, Fei, Tzadi, Kof, Resh, Shin, Sin, and Tav. Very, very good. Okay, who else is there that hasn't recited yet? Yeah, <laughs> okay. I had to begin. Let me just mark him quickly. Right, that's Marius. Okay, that was good. Okay, right. Who's going to recite now? Zenzele. Okay, come Zenzele. Come, let us go. Aleph, Ed. Vet, Gimel, Dalet, He, Vav, Zain, Chet, Tet, Yud, Kaf, Chaf, Lamet, Mem, Nun, Samech, Ayn, Sinit, Samech. 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 Samech, right, okay. Samech. Ayin. Pi. Fi. Tari. Kof. Resh. Shin. Sin. Tav. Very, very nice. Good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who else uh, is a phone? Yeah, it'll be it'll be me, Tani Sharon. Okay, all right. Come, Sharon. Oops, sorry. Let's just go back quickly. Although you can do it without, I'm sure. Yes, I can. <laughs> all right, let's go. It Aleph, Bet, Bet, Gimel, Dalit, Hey, Bob. Zayin, Chet, Tet, Yud, Kaf, Kaf, Lamed, Mem, Nun, Samech, Ayin, Pei, Fei, Sadi, Kof, Resh, Sun, Tav. It's, don't forget Shin. Yeah, forgot the Shin. 
Dutch. It's Jensen Tov. Jensen and then Tov. Right. Very, yeah. very good. You, you went, well, I think there seems to be the record holder for the moment. Uh, Sharon, yes, you recited, didn't you? Right. Okay. Who else? Is a, fong is, a fong isn't on, is he? No, a fong isn't on. Uh, okay, so he's absent tonight. I think, yeah. Okay, right. Have you all recited? Because I must give a remark back. Vince, yes, you, Vince, you did. Yes, okay. Uh, she, Sharon, Sharon. Yeah, okay. Right, okay. Now, we have... Uh, I want to go back, right back. Last week, we did the verbs, ach, the vowels. Now, vowels, uh, I want us to have a look at them again. Have a look again. Aleph, remember there was this word that I gave you? Aleph is Aleph, one, and a, n, i. Yeah, ani is I. Okay, you got that. Bet, bet, with its tittle at the back. It's a very short tittle. Value two. And hine, H I N, two dots, E, H. Kine, you don't say the H. Kine, a little. Okay? Gimel, gimel, value three. G, A, V, A, E is also A, V, Va, V, A, there it is. That's the Va and the A. And the H again, G, A, Va, which is pride. G, A, Va, pride. G, G, A, V, that's the A again, G, A, and V, A. Okay, G, A, Va. All right, got him? Dalit. Dalit also has a, a title. Its value is four. And lehivanos. Le hi ha i v a n o s. Lehivanos. To enter, and remember I said if it is to enter, then when we do a sentence, we say, I am going to enter. Then I put lehivanos, the room, hacheder. Okay? Lehivanos is to enter. Hey, there is the hay with its little window. Its value is five. And lin shom, lin shom is to breathe. To breathe, lin shom. L, i, n. And my two dots is the schwa, lin, sh, o, m, lin, shom, to breathe. Okay, got it? And vav, there is my vav, which is valued at six. And ba, tu, ach. Ba, tu, ach. There is the b with the dot inside and the a 
ba t there's the t t u there's the vowel and the dot u now this one is totally a, a, a different letter you say the u and then you say the g you still end with the consonant but you've got to say that vowel first so you here would say u a ba tu a is too secure okay ba tu a that one we're just going to read it over and over and over and say ba tu a ba tu a until we're so used to it that we don't worry about it right can i give you another list of letters yes i think so let's look at those for zayin write down zayin its value is 7 plowing and i'm it's a female word harisa ri sha actually kha ri sha now look at it it's kha ri oh the kha is born here the the ch okay so there must be a ch kha r i sh a kha ri sha kha ri sha is plowing value 7 because it start is a zayin khet khet is 8 and one of the khet words is outside which you say khit sonni khit sonni khit sonni is outside and here it is there is the h i y i t o n i h i t o n i h i t s o n i h i t s o n i outside I am going outside. I am going chitsoni. I am going chit so ni. Okay, got him. Good. Let's go to Tet. Tet number nine. Tet is snake nahash a snake is a nahash nahash a snake and in hebrew you will write it as n a a sh na kha sh nahash Na, you see that X is in the place of the Chet. Chitsoni, Harisha. Well, there I put the CH instead of the X, but I can just as well put the X there. Either the X or the CH is the same as the Chari. Okay, Tet, snake. Right, nahash, nahash. Ready? Right, yud. Yud is the smallest letter of the Hebrew alphabet, and its value is ten. Yud is ten, from one to ten. 
And here, Yud, we found the word work. Avoda, avoda, ending in an a, ah, is female. Harisha is female. Avoda is female. That's one of the signs that a word is female. So if I use, I am a man, and I'm talking about that I work, I would be saying, I avod. I would stop and not put on the a. Ah. I would do, uh, do that. Avod. That would be the male vowel or the male word for work. If I was a male. Okay, so Zenzele will, will use that. Marius uh, and Joshua and Vince. All the gentlemen, all our gentlemen in class will say, I, Ani, Avod. I work. The ladies, uh, Ashley and Sharon and Sharon, and uh, will say, Ani, Avoda. Because I am female. There it is. It is with a Y which has got no sound, so I've got the ah sound. It's the schwa plus the patah. So it's a chatek patah. Vowel with the n o d a ah. A, ah, that is a v. Remember? The b is a v. Aleph. Wait, wait. A, V, O, D, A. A, V, O, D, A. Feminine. And without the A, A, V, O, D, male. Okay? Got it? Good. Cuff. Kaf with the dots is kaf or chaf, but its value is 20. And here under kaf, I've used the word bend, which is ikul, ikul, ikul. And it's with a y, a, well, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's an E. E, K, U, U. E, K, U, L. E, K, U, L. E, K, U, L. Is to bend. And then the last one. Lamed. Lamed. Value 30. Lamed. Value 30. And with Lamed, we use the word star or rod. Star or rod. It is makel. Makel. M. A. That's the patah. K. Kof. And two. The two little dots. Ma. Kel, right? Let me read those quickly. Harisha is plowing. Chitsoni, outside. Nachash, snake. Avoda, feminine work. Ikul, bend. Makel is a staff or a rod. And those five I'm going to give you now for, for you to help you with making sentences or if you want to make sentences. 
I would, I would really, uh, I would really encourage you to see if you can make sentences and send them to me on the on the WhatsApp, and let me mark them for you, Zenzeli. I must answer your your homework that you've sent, or Pong, you've sent me homework, and come on, all the others, try. See if you have a moment when you can just sit and see if you can use the words. I know you've written them out, and um, there you have I, a little, pride, to enter, to breathe, to secure, Harisha, plowing, Chitsoni, outside, Nahash, snake, Avoda, work, Ikul, bend, and Makel, staff, or rod. Okay? Staff, or rod. We're not going to do Mem tonight, and we're not going to do Tzadi tonight. Right, let's take a body break. I'm sure you've been tired. Take a body break and I'll see you in five minutes. Okay? Is five minutes enough, by the way? Or does it take you ten minutes to make coffee? Five minutes is enough. Five minutes is enough? See you five in five minutes. Enough. Okay, folks. See you in five minutes. Okay? Right. Okay. Goodbye. I'll coffee more. <laughs> I'm going to make coffee. All right, I'm back. How are you? Are you back? Yes. Oh, yes. There's five minutes gone. Wee, 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 wee. All right, let's quickly look. I just want to revise our vowels again. And let's go over them again. Are you back? Are you back? Are back. you back? back? Okay, okay. You all back? It is. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Now, let's add vowels. A, E, I, O, U. And A. E, I, O, U. Hebrew vowels are grouped the same as in English, A, E, I, O, U, but they are pronounced phonetically, A, E, I, O, U, the sounds. And each group of vowels is made up of three kinds. It's a long vowel, A, short vowel, A, and reduced or half vowel, which is very much shorter. I or the E, A, E, E, is the exception. A, E, E only has a short vowel that you know. Now, now we go to the Nikudim. Ah, let's see what's going on here. Here's something new. Nikudim. N -i K, U, there's the other U sound, the three uh, dots that go down, and then the D, I, M, Ni, Ku, Dim is vowels. Let's just look at A. A as in farm. We use the Kamats, which is the cross. That little cross is the kamatz, and we use it in farm. And the Hebrew word farm is hava. Uh, sorry, hava. H a v a h. Hava. That is farm. Farm. Ha, va, ha, va. Okay, you got that last time. Hat, a hat. We use the patah, which is the kamatz shortened. 
and it's big ta big ta b i k remember the schwa stops the sound you just say the b k then you have t a and the h has got no sound but you've got to use the the consonant to end the word otherwise the word is wrong if i don't have that h that word is completely wrong because it is big ta okay big ta which is hat garden here i use the khataf patah the khataf patah there's the kamats patah kamets or khataf patah and garden i've got two words here for you ga a n remember there are five vowels five of the consonants when they get to the end of a word they change their form and n is one of them m is also one of them but this is g a n instead of the little Mm, that goes like that we now have just that and straight down remember i put on the little top just to remind me that that is a n mm. so i have got a gun or feminine gina g e Mm, a feminine a gun is a garden but a gina is a feminine garden if i speak of my garden i will speak of my gina because i'm a woman but the gentlemen in the class will speak of their gun I go into my gun the gentleman will say all right that's the first three then we have vowel e as in there we use the tsere the tsere is the three little dots right 1 2 three little dots three dots and that is shav sh near as sh e v shev tere shev there if i say where are you going and i say there i'm going to say shev right shev I obey I use the segol which is two dots and that is le ka ma uh, sorry bal le ka bal le ka i oh what's this now hmm? Kaiit. Oh dear, I've got the wrong spelling here for it. Oh no no no! Sorry sorry, that's get. Sorry, this is obey. L ka yit. L ka yit is to obey. L ka yit is to obey. L ka yit is to obey. To get is to l ka bal. L ka bal is to get. Sorry. the two words there that's le kabal which is get and le a uh, git 
obey. Bay, a lot of water, the bay. I'm going to use the chataf segol, which is even shorter than the segol, which is the mip rats. Mi, mi, remember there's no dot. Mif, rats. Mif, rats is the bay. Girl is ya la da. Yal da. Yal da. Yal da. And there is the a, uh, which makes it female. I haven't written the female here, but remember, yal da is female, a girl. And remember, I said a boy was a ye le d. Ye le d. It ends on the d without the h because the h makes the a uh of yalda, which is feminine. Okay? I, e, <laughs> e, the, uh, the i, which is e, as in bit, which is also the same, it's a chirik, it's that little dot is called a chirik, and it is ka tat, k tat, k tat, tat, k tat, k tat. Is a little bit, is a little like hine is a little, but kitsat is a bit. Okay, there's the same word but a different two words. Children, ye la dim. Girl is yalda ye led. Yeladim, children, plural. Girl is Yalda. The boy, which we haven't got here, is Yeled. And children is Yeladim. Ye la dim plural beet beetroot have you got some beetroot for me here is there a beet for me and that is se lek se lek se lek there's the samech e l e Select. Cough, cough, select. Candy is su ha ra. And it ends with an H. So what is that? Feminine. Candy is feminine. Su. Ka ra ya. Sukaraya. What near? A sukaria. Sukaria. Sorry, sukaria. Sukaria. Sugary. Sukaria. Candy. Sukaria. Oh, as in top. And this is the one that you place at the top. As in go, we use the kubuts. Those are the three dots that run down. And that's ho, lech. Go, 
Oh, sorry, I forgot the top again. I must really take that out. I must really take it out. War is the shuruk, which is the vav with the dot in its tummy, which is u. Mi, l, ha, ma. Mil, ha, ma. War. Radio, a, a, l, u, al, hoot, al, hoot, a radio. The door is a d, e, l, e, t, delet. A door is delet. U, as in boot, that is ma, ga, and there is an end letter. What is that? That is the f, ma, gaf. That's an f. But look there. It's not the usual coming around f. It's at the end, therefore its tail goes straight down through the line. It's longer, my guff. There's the F at the end of a word, my guff, a boot. To put is l, a, that's a s, not a sh, that's a s. I, m, la, sim. La, sim is to put. And human is a, n, o, sh, i. A, n, o, shi. A, no, shi. A, no, shi. He was human. Anoshi. A Jew is ye, her, u, n, i. Is that a n or what is that? Is that perhaps a d? It's not. Is it going down below the line? No. So that cannot be an end letter. So it's y, who, d. That is a d. Y, who, d. A Jew. A Yehudi. Here comes a Yehudi. A Jew. There we have a d, a, b, a, r. Now, dabar is a word. But here, dabar should actually have a, um exclamation mark behind it. Because this is a word that we use when we say shoot. This is a command. Dabar, shoot. That is what the army officer would say when he says to the people, shoot. Dabar. But if you're speaking of a word or a thing, that is also a dabar. So that is a word that you're going to look at and you're going to learn it to know that I can use it as a word or a thing or it is the command shoot. Use your gun and shoot. Right? <laughs> True is n a -h o n na -hon. na -hon. That's true. The story he told me was true. 
נכון. Now the שווה is normally quiescent without a sound. It marks the end of a syllable. Right? And the שווה vowel is a reduced vowel. It halves the short vowel, the two little dots. There are two kinds, the one at the beginning. You say it. You say the sound of the letter and the vowel, like ha, ra, be, ha. Ha, ra, be. Ha, ra, be. And at the end of a word or syllable, it's silent, which means you only say the sound of the letter, which is ye, ha, ve, Her. Ye, ye. Ye, ye. Ye. Did you hear? That H you can't hear. I'm just saying ye. Ye. So neither of those H's can you hear. You just say ye. There's your schwa, which ends your vowel. And ye. And ye ye means it will be. Kamets is one of the three R, uh, long changeable, short, reduced, the patach and the chatef patach, right, that you know. Segol, okay, we don't need those, we've looked at them. I want to just go to the end there, or the end. Okay, now, I want to just get out of this slide. I want to go to the next slide. All right, and I want to screen share. Where are we? Screen sharing. Uh, and put a new share. And where is that one? Where is it? Eh? Where is it? There it is. And share. And this one, we just want to bring it out. Okay. How can, why can't we see this thing? I can see it, M.M. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Dear. But it's not coming through to the other side. No, okay. the presentation mode. Oh, dear me. Okay. Let's bring it through to the other side. Near, 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 die, near, near, die. Okay, let's close that. Stop that share. Now, I'm going to go new share. Where's my new share? Yee. Share screen. Uh, no, no. Not that one. Share. Mm -mm. No, it's not this one. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, right, and sorry. Here is the other one, and there it is. Okay, why? I don't know why it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to come over to the side. All right, I tell you what I'll do. I'll bring it across like this. Can you see this? Uh, I can't see it. No, I could. It just changed to your background, the wallpaper. Now you can't see it, okay. Can you see it now? Yeah. Okay. All right. There we are then. Let's go to these and let's see what they're like. Okay. Achat is one and that is achat. Now, achat is number one. Right. Number one. Let's go to our 
sheets that I gave you with our numbers. And let's quickly just go through them. Right? Uh, we haven't got them on the screen. So I'm just going to reduce this. Uh, no, I'm just going to leave it there. Let's look at number one on your paper here. Achat. Have you got it? Have you got it, sweetheart? Have you got your papers? Yeah. Um, I'm looking for it. Got him? All of you got it? Right. FS, FS, E, F, E, S is zero. And you spell it A, and you have three dots underneath it. That's the E. Then you have the closed F. Remember, the closed F with three dots underneath it. E. And then you have the Samech. Efes is zero. Zero. No, not zero. Zero. Okay? It's not on the page, but I'm telling you that's what it is. Efes is zero. Okay? Achat is a pata. Chet pata. Ta. A chat. A chat. Now, these numbers that I'm giving you here are all female. These are the ones you use when you are counting. For argument's sake, you're at pick and pay, and they say, how many tins of baked beans did you take? And you say, I took five. You count with these numbers, the female numbers. Okay? The female numbers. Achat. One. Say, Biki. Achat. Say the number. Achat. 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 Yes. Achat. 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 Right. Achat. Achat. That's a female of one. And FS is, is you use female or masculine. <laughs> I love that. I love that when you do that. Okay. Shtayim. 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 Uh, is two and it's two and it's female all of these are female right we'll get to the males just now but we don't have to worry about that we just need the shtayim right what's number three shalosh right shalosh shalosh there's the shin with a dot on the right hand side with an a ah, which is a kametz and a l and a sh sha losh. Now that's sha losh is in the dot of the sh shin. Sha losh. Okay, number four. What is number four? Arba. Arba. Fabulous. Arba. Fabulous. Fabulous. Ar with a sh with a shva. The b with its uh, tittle. And the uh, yeah, arba, arba, four. Okay, so achat, shtayim, shalosh, arba. 
four. What is number five? Hamish. 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 Yeah, it's the sh of the shin. Hamish. Right? Hamish. Hamish. Now, what is number six? Shish. Shish. Right, fabulous. Shish. <laughs> shish. It's oh, shish. Right. And it's like this one. You, you must just think of you must just think of shish. <laughs> I think we'll go home. <laughs> yes, okay. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Right. Number seven. What is number seven? Seven. Sheva. 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 Number eight. Shmone. Shmone. Very nice. Shmone. Yes. Shmone. Yes. Shmone. Very nice. Shmone. Right. Then number nine is te Pesha. 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 Te Pesha. Okay. Pesha. And number ten is Esar. 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 A. 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 Esar. All right. It's all together. Efes. Achat. Achat. Ayim. 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 Kalosh. 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 Arba. 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 Hamish, Hamish, and Esser. Who'd like to put the, the paper away and say them for me? Okay, not tonight. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can we do that for next week? Hello. Yeah, next week. Next week. Next week. I'm going to test your words of the, of the, of the county. <laughs> okay. Folks, let's just have a little bit of light. I see. I see. I Thank you a page of eight parts of speech. Well, it's actually nine. It's nine parts of speech, right? Have you got them with you? They came with that uh, whole group of letters that I sent you. The nine parts of speech. I just want to go through them because this is going to have a great influence on when we start writing Hebrew. Okay. The nine parts of speech. Number one is a noun. The noun is the name of anything. 
dis een selfstandige naam woord. Ah, terrible thing. <laughs> Let's rather stick to English. A noun is the name of anything. Example, John, or brother, or love, or plant, goodness, Harry, table, car. Right? So that's a noun. And in every sentence, I use a noun. Then, number two is a pronoun. A pronoun is a word used instead of a noun. Instead of saying, John did this, I write and often refer to the same person and say, Mr. Howard saw the beggar and asked the beggar if the beggar would like some work. Now you hear the immediately, Mr. Howard, which is now John, saw the beggar and asked the beggar if the beggar would like some work. Now we don't speak like that. We're not going to write like that in Hebrew either. Mr. Howard, we would rather say, Mr. Howard saw the beggar and asked him. Him is a pronoun. If he is a pronoun, would like some work. Mr. Howard saw the beggar and asked him, pronoun, if he, pronoun, would like some work. I, you, they, him, and who are all pronouns. We use them instead of a noun. I'm not going to keep on saying Zenzele saw the beggar and if the <sighs> no no if I've got to say Zenzele's name three and four times in a sentence it's going to be terrible. He's also going to get crushed and he's going to say lost my name. I leave my name alone. So we use pronouns. Number three is an adjective. An adjective. We're going back to work that we learnt in school very many years ago, but I just would like to remind you, because this is all nice. Okay. An adjective is a word joined to a noun. An adjective is a word joined to a noun to qualify. Now, the word here, qualify, means to add something to its meaning. So I'm going to use an adjective to add something to the meaning of the noun. So I'm going to say John, which is the noun, is tall. That is the adjective. It's describing John, my noun. He is tall, right? Um, a describing word, that's a noun. If I use the word, the noun horse, but not all horses are the same. There's a black horse. There's a swift horse. That's an adjective added to the noun. A brindled, intelligent horse. There are two adjectives added to the horse. Good and many are adjectives. Again, please just read through this page over and over every day, just once a day, twice a day, and you will see how that they fall into your brain and that you start remembering them. 
Okay? Number four, a verb. Now we know what a verb is. A verb is a word to indicate that a person or object performs some action. Action. A verb is an action word. Or this person or this thing that we're describing is found in a particular state. Or it is a word. A verb is a word by means of which we can make a statement. He is good. Or we can ask a question. Or give a command. And there that dabar, remember, that shoot comes in. The verb, the cat, here the noun, the cat, caught the bird. The dish was broken. That's a verb. We're indicating the state of the dish. I write. That is a verb. I do you see. That C is a verb. Do you see? Or just a word to like the command. Depart. I'm commanding you to do something. Depart. It is a verb. All right. That's four. Can we go on? <laughs> Right, let's go on. Adverb, that's exactly what it says, is a word joined to a vowel or to a verb to qualify its meaning. In other words, immediately. Well, work well or very, very little. Those are add verbs. We do. We add them to the doing word. How are we doing it? Am I breathing quickly? Am I breathing hard? <laughs> Terrible. Okay. The actor recited. How did he recite? He recited well. Or he recited pompously. Or he recited smoothly. It's an adverb that I add to a verb to describe it, its state. Adverbs sometimes qualify an adjective or another adverb. Very good. Very well. Or a very swift horse. Very swift horse. Those are adverbs. Number six. A prep Position. Oh, goodness. Here we're really getting technical. Here we're really getting into English. But we're going to do that. We're going to do well. A preposition is a word joined to and generally placed before a noun or pronoun to show the relation of the person or thing denoted by the noun to something else. A preposition is a word joined and generally placed before the noun or the pronoun to show the relation of the person or thing denoted by the noun to something else. A preposition shows a connection between an action and a thing. 
example. The train, there's the noun. The train ran, there's the verb, through the tunnel. There's your preposition. Through the tunnel. The house, that's the noun, on the hill. On is the preposition. It shows the relationship of the hill and the house. The house is on the hill. The house behind the hill. The, the ring under, with, by, they're all prepositions. Then number seven is a conjunction. Conjugo, I join, I link, conjunction, I link, I join. We express our ideas by arranging words in sentences and he is a bad man. He will be punished. We shall be sorry to see him suffer. Now, the conjunction is a word that joins together the sentences, clauses, or words. Example, he is a bad man and he will be punished. But we shall be sorry to see him suffer. There I've joined the three sentences that I said into one sentence that is flowing well. And, but, because are conjunctions. And, but, because. You can't do this. He is a bad man and the sun will shine tomorrow. <laughs> There's no relationship. What's this, got the sun shining got to do with this man that's bad? There must be a relationship. He's a bad man and he's going to be punished, but we're going to be sorry to see him suffer. They all have a relationship with each other. Okay, so that's a conjunction. They it joins sentences into one. Now, number eight, the second last one, the interjection. An interjection is a word thrown into a sentence to express a feeling or emotion. Like, oh, alas, how sorry I am. Woe is me. Ish. <laughs> and I zulu word that I said just because I wanted to. Ish. That is an interjection. That means I'm just putting in something. I'm just adding a word of my own. And then the last one is the article, which is in fact a kind of adjective. And it's also sometimes classed as a separate part of speech. In English, we have both the definite article, remember, the definite article. Now, in English, we have the indefinite article, which is a. But in Greek and in Hebrew, there is no indefinite article. I do not say I have a book. In Hebrew, I say I have book. I have car. I, I have cold. But I do not say a cold. I can say the horse, the car, the house. But I cannot say a car, a book, a 
house or uh, anything in Hebrew or Greek because I do have no indefinite article in Hebrew and Greek. Now, of these parts of speech, the most important, which would you say? I'll tell you. It's the noun and the verb. Because the noun stands, the car is running well. The noun and the verb are always joined in a sentence. Except the command when I say depart. That has got nothing. There's just the one word. But if I use I am going to town, the verb and the noun, they will be together. Those are the nine parts of speech. And may I ask you to please, for next week, read them through a couple of times. And then we are going to just, uh, well, we're going, to, we're going to use them, but uh, not so very importantly, because we are learning Hebrew. We're not learning English. But I just thought this is very helpful when, uh, if I say to you that uh, I want you to use some adverbs or some prepositions or some conjunctions, then at least you know what they are. Because not all of us have had the same English uh, tuition. And this is something that's going to help you in your Hebrew. Because they're going to say to you the conjunction. And with the conjunction, this is the form of the Hebrew word. It changes. Sometimes it changes the form of the Hebrew word. So that is why I've given you these nine parts of speech. Okay?